The Five is a new uh, ten parts drama on Sky One, uh, written by. Well, the story's by Harlan Coben, isn't it? The yeah, author, or but inspired by him, but it's actually the episode. Are Danny Brocklehurst, yeah. who uh, Ordinary Lies, The Driver, mm. and he's got another one coming up that they've just announced as well, starring uh, Maya Nabury. Uh, this, uh, the five of the title is basically five kids who went off one day and only four came back. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the present day, we see the four of them. Uh, we have a lawyer called, is it Mark the lawyer? I believe so, yes. Played by Tom Cullen, who's probably best known from Downton Abbey. He's basically very, very broody all the time. Broods he go, is he the guy that goes running a lot in the episode? Yeah. yeah he, he no, seems... no, or is that the social worker that goes running? I can't a lot. remember which one was which. There was a little, there was a little bit of... Oh, no, no, it is Tom, yeah, it's Tom, Tom he Cullen. Just, he just goes running a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of running, yeah. a lot of staring into middle distance. Then you've got the Interceptor. He's uh, playing a cop again in this. Mr. O.T. Fagbula, is it, or something? Bag Benelli, Bag Bedley, something like that. Um, he his character is a police officer who discovers that the DNA of the missing boy, who is uh, Mark's brother, has been found at a crime scene. Yeah, a hotel. The most intriguing character for me in this is the uh, social worker played by Lee Ingleby, and then uh, there's uh, the token woman played by Sarah Soleimani Prue, who's the sort of there's obviously was something between her and uh, Mark at one time or another. And, and she's a private uh, doctor now, which... which Yeah, but uh, I found her character to be the weakest of the four. She's basically, let's bring her in, and she's just another... But yeah, I, think, I, think she'll become, woman. I think she'll become more later. One very strange thing was, did you... The scene where he slapped one of the kids on the backside and said... Nice was it a kid or was it well, his co-worker? No, no, it was. Like, I think it was his co-worker because we saw her in a later scene oh, right. when they were at okay, like a disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even then, it was weird. It was yeah, no, it was a context. bit weird. But not as weird as him going into a room with a gun at the end. No, there was that. Well, that's what you're supposed to kind of think is the yeah. mysterious bit. Obviously, we see a lot of flashbacks to this sort yeah. of disappearance where we see different bits like the young Slade going you know, come back, Jesse, or Jesse, hang on. Um, they find another missing person, don't they? Best scene in the whole of the first episode is the birthday party, where his dad gets up and does the, my son, the mate, you know, happy birthday and all that. And then the mum gets up and does this very yeah. awkward, I have two sons. And at the end, it's... And, I mean, Geraldine... That to yeah. me, that Geraldine James is the best thing in this, yeah. as she is in most things. But I would say, overall, I felt there was a lot more plot than there was character development. I felt that, I didn't really... That is get... Harlan Coben's style, I would say. Yeah, but I don't feel I got to know... I care or get to know any of these characters. And it was very, very... I suppose it was Sky, so they got a lot of money to throw at it. But I found the style of it very sort of almost like alienating and the music as well was quite... Yeah, the music wasn't uh, good. So, but... I mean, it kept my interest because of the amount of plot that it threw at me. But I, yeah. at the end, I couldn't... I sat there and go, am I that interested? And I don't think I'll be keeping up with it. I don't know about you. I think I will watch the second episode. I have it recorded and then I'll make a decision. Because, as I say, I'm a Harlan Coben fan. And I did see some of his traits. He's known as a guy that writes good... <laughs> so the fact that... The DNA turned up is a total Harlan Coben type of twist. I think I will give it one more episode. The one thing that annoyed me, I mean, I know Luke will say the guy, the interceptor, Mr. O.C. Fagbelli, is not a good actor, and I would tend to agree. There was mm. the scene right at the end where he's chasing the guy on the caravans, and I thought, clearly they want a bit of action in here, and it's a fabricated way of doing it. And I didn't like it, and it did. It I didn't find him quite well. Yeah. Quite a one-dimensional actor. He yeah. just puffs and puffs a lot, doesn't he? And, 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 and you know, they introduced some very nice bits, and I think they did some good storytelling. You know, his dad is, has very early sizes of Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, and they've got a plot based on that. So, I mean, they've, they've weave, mm. woven, woved a lot into one episode. And Sky are showing it as two episodes every week. So almost a two-hour show every Friday. So they're going to be done by this within five weeks, you know, or four yeah. now. I think they've done that because there's so much, as you said, there's so much plot that you wait, they want people to kind of watch the episodes back to back and not and have to, to wait too long for the next one.